Hello everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be your weekly reading for August 17th through the 23rd. Now, I am filming this a little bit early because Matt and I are actually going to D.C. Um, to look at apartments because we are getting ready to move there in a couple of months. So, I'm not going to be on here um, as much and I won't have time to film this, so I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time again. Um, but it's for the 17th through the 23rd. I am using a deck. Well, I'm actually using two decks. I'm using the Goddesses and Titans and the... I mean, Goddesses and Sirens and Gods and Titans um, Oracle cards. So, I, I just recently had a wonderful reading by um, Avalon Spiritual Odyssey here on YouTube. And she just absolutely blew my mind with these cards. So... And for some reason, it never occurred to me to use these decks together, like in the same pile. So, I have the cards that we are going to be using, and this one wants to come for later on, which is interesting. I'll tell you why in a minute. So, for Monday and Tuesday, we have Ra, and this is a card of power. So we're really going to be coming into our own um, with in terms to our power, and we're going to also be recognizing the power of other people around us. So the first week, you're going to notice noticeable changes in the way you act and the way you think. There's going to be a lot of power for you to tap into and use. So that is what we're looking at as far as Monday and Tuesday. There's going to be a lot of power, a lot of energy that you can use to manipulate, you know, the circumstances in your life and to manifest what you want. Oh, and sorry, that God was, um, that was raw. So now we have Ganesh. And this is obstacles. So what this is saying is that with great power also comes great responsibility. And sometimes these responsibilities can appear as the form of obstacles. Or sometimes the responsibilities that we have may cause obstacles for others. So if you make a responsibility to take care of yourself, sometimes others may not understand it, and that may cause obstacles. So there's going to be some hurdles for you to jump through after you find your power, but it's the power that you find that's going to help you get over these obstacles and these hurdles. So this is a very interesting card, and it's a very interesting reading so far. There's a lot of energy, I feel, with this coming up week, so it's going to be awesome. So, and, these, and that was Ganesha, and these are two god, gods and titans cards. But this is um, a goddess, and it's Mott, and it's the card of justice. So, in tarot, when we see justice, we see justice being blind and holding scales. What I'm sensing here is that there is a sense of triumph because justice has been served. Or because she has taken it upon herself to take her life into her own hands. You know, not that she's dealing out justice like karma, but she's she's very um, proud and she's very triumphant. And that's what's going to happen. So people might be giving you a little bit of shit in the middle in the the middle of the week after you found your power. But the end of the week says they're going to get theirs, but you're going to come out triumphant towards the end of the week. So, the card that came, the card, the next card that wanted to come up is Quan Yin. I just, I, mm. and it's compassion. So, honestly, compassion is sometimes the biggest comeback and the biggest, like, sucker punch you can give somebody. Because in the middle of the week, these people are going to be giving you relentless amounts of shit. And that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm getting. And justice is going to be served to them. But you have to remember that you've got to show compassion or justice is going to be served to you too. So if you if they're an asshole to you and you're an asshole to them, it's going to come back on you. And it's not going to be good. You know, that sense of triumph isn't going to be there. That sense of triumph is only going to be there if you realize that you can be compassionate. And if you show compassion to those people, they give you a hard time because it's going to work. 
it's going to work and you're going to notice a big difference. So I want you guys to notice something. And this was actually a relatively quick reading. Um, but I want you to notice we have two gods and two goddesses. Now initially only one goddess had came out of the deck. But I felt that second card wanted to come out and it made perfect sense with the reading. So here is one that's interesting. <laughs> and I swear the universe is just all about it. All about these synchronicities. So in my reading I was guided to balance more of the divine masculine and feminine, which is what actually what made me break these decks out because I haven't used these decks in a while. And I was told that, you know, that's what I needed to do and that's what I needed to put a lot of focus on is to, you know, balance the divine feminine and, ma and masculine. Not that they were out of balance, but work on balancing them more. So the fact that we have two goddesses and two gods equal and balanced is, is just awesome to me. And it may be something just personal for me, but I thought it was awesome and amazing. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So if you haven't had a reading by her, I, I highly recommend it. Like, she is out of this world good. And so amazing. Oh my god. I just, I love her so much. But yeah, so these are, this is an amazing, or these decks are amazing. But, um, but yeah, so just like a little bit of a recap. The because I, I have a lot of time left compared to my normal videos. <laughs> and then you see some stuff in the back. I'm packing for our trip to DC. So, the middle, the beginning of the week is really going to focus on you and your power. And they're asking me for the tell, they're, they're actually they're telling me to tell you to ask yourself um, in the middle, in the beginning of the week, where does your power lie? Does your power lie in what other people think about you? Or are you secure enough in yourself that your power is limitless? Because once you're happy with you, can't nobody tell you a damn thing. Like, you are good. That's what, And that's what I'm feeling, that's what I'm getting, is that you have to realize that the only way you can tap into this power is if you realize that you are happy with yourself. You can't, you know, think of yourself as a, you know, a low life or, you know, anything negative about yourself and expect to be able to get, gain that full that full force of the power that you have. And that being confident is part of this power. And for some of you, that may be the power that you've been looking for. Because if you're not, like, let's use spiritual gifts. If you're not confident in your spiritual in your spiritual gifts, like clairvoyance, clairaudience, mediumship, tarot, intuition, whatever it is, if you're not confident, you're not going to be able to use it. So you have to be confident in your gifts. And that's going to see you through obstacles. Because... We're on this path together. If you're a spiritual person, you get the, you get relentless amounts of shit, either indirectly or directly from people who are just idiots. So you have to realize that, or whose ideals are idiotic, not them themselves. But we have to realize that those obstacles make us stronger. And the more confident we are in ourselves, the less those obstacles are kind of going to bother us. We're going to be able to be like, okay, yeah, you can have that bullshit. Like, that's, that's yours. Like, I don't care. And then we're going to realize that they get theirs down the line. And we're going to be triumphant, but we have to have compassion to those people and towards those people that when they're coming at us, we can't like raise our fists and get ready to fight back. We have to be like, I respect your opinion. I respect your beliefs. I appreciate it if you respect mine. And so compassion is not being walked over. Compassion is having assertiveness and being peaceful or being... Or being assertive through being peaceful. So you have to be peaceful. You have to not want to start a fight. But you have to let them know where your stance is. Don't argue. Don't bicker. Don't, you know, try and go into a whatever, you know, my horse is bigger than your horse piss and match. Because with some people, you're just not going to win. And honestly, you're probably never going to convince them anyway. They're never going to convince you. So it's like, eh, it's an impasse. It doesn't really matter. So what I am, what I am excited about is how we are going to step into this week full of power, full of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So really balance your giving and receiving. So receive stuff spiritually and then give it to somebody else. Help somebody else. Or if you receive money, help somebody else. Donate to a charity or someone you know that needs help. And then that keeps it going. That keeps this divine masculine and feminine 
energy in us going when we we continually give and receive. You know, we can receive all we want to, but if we don't give it, we just hoard it. You know what I mean? I can receive guidance from people all day long. I can have 14,000 spirits lined up waiting to talk to me. And they can talk to me all they want to, and I can listen to them. But if I don't relay messages to the people that they want me to relay messages to, what, what fucking good is it? It's not. You know what I mean? You have to be confident. And you have to be confident enough in yourself to give that guidance to people. To give that message to somebody. And then because you're going to keep receiving more. The more you give, the more you receive. And the more you receive, the more that you give. It's an endless cycle. It's an endless way of doing things. It's the law of the universe. It's the law of attraction. You know, you keep attract, keep your thoughts positive. Keep your vibrations high. And you receive. And you receive and you receive. So I am super excited about this week. Um, I, I just, I'm very, very excited. And by the time you're watching this, I already have a lease signed. So, <laughs> but yeah, if you would like a reading with me, check out my website below at www.tarotangel444.com. You can also check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash um, Andrew's Angel Cards. <laughs> I forgot what it was for a minute. And you can also like this video right here. You can subscribe to me right here. And as always, angel blessings. And I love each and every one of you. And I will be seeing you later. Bye.